you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. I'm sorry, Cassie. Oh, hell, Marvel fans. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The new phase looked like it's going to be good. Let's break down this video, this trailer. I'm going to go through it. My name is Lamont Tyson. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all those good places. I do have a budding TikTok as well. And download the Life Games podcast where we talk about movies and TV shows. Everybody was hitting me up last night because we just got a brand new Marvel trailer for Ant-Man, Quantum Mania. Now, normally for me, I'm not an Ant-Man fan. Um, it, his character just doesn't do it for me. And a lot of the stories they've done in the MCU haven't done it for me. That doesn't mean the movie was bad. I'm just not excited about the character. Having said that, I am excited as hell for Kang. I mean, I'm so excited. My little Woody is all the way in the air. I got a geek gasm, ladies and gentlemen. And this trailer right here revealed more of how this story is going to be so heavy. Kang, played by Jonathan Majors, who is killing it. And we also got the reveal of Modoc, as well as Yellow Jacket. And for all my subscribers that hit me up, here we go. Let's review this trailer. Let's go through it right now and take a look. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. You hear the power in You're an Avenger. You have a daughter, but you've lost a lot of time, like me. We can help each other with that. Yeah! Who are you? I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. What's that? Huh. Time. Okay. We all want time. I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. He can give us a second chance. Let me make this easy for you. You will bring me what I need. Or everything you call a life will end. This is all my fault. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. you could win. I don't have to win. We both just have to lose. I'm sorry, Cassie. Damn. Okay. <laughs> woo, woo. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see at the end Kang is displaying all this damn power, letting it rip. And when I first saw that, heard about this movie, I was wondering to myself, based on the comics and in the past, and I know they do things differently on the big screen, the powers that Kang has are so immense, he literally could beat Thanos with a snap of a finger. So I'm thinking to myself, how in the holy hell is Ant-Man going to beat Kang by himself? Okay, ain't nothing too special about Ant-Man. He can become a giant. He can become really tiny. I think the special thing that they've done with him in the NCU is the fact that he can shrink real tiny to where you've got a quantum realm. 
And that's exactly where Kang is at in this damn quantum realm. Now, if we're talking about the way this movie is going to look, this is going to look bananas in 3D. I mean, good God almighty, it's going to look real good in 3D because everything in this movie looks great from this trailer. And the fact that Lang is going into this thing not wanting to win, but have it where they both lose, makes me feel a little bit more as though I can believe that he has a chance with Kang. But you know Kang is going to have to have more than just one movie. There is no way they sign Jonathan Majors to one movie, and that's going to be the end of him. So I am intrigued about how it's going to end. And did you guys see how Kang and Lang was getting into fisticuffs? He's got my man in some kind of reverse camel clutch hold. My man is bleeding teeth, running red with blood, and he is just having the time of his life getting that ass whipped but probably stalled. But one of the big reveals was this, ladies and gentlemen, was MODOK. Now, I'm not really a fan of the MCU's, I mean, of Marvel's MODOK. I've never really been a fan of something that looks like a big-ass brain that's got arms and a hand and all that, except for the Ninja Turtles. Now, I love their brain, but in this MCU, I wonder how they're going to display MODOK's powers. And for those of you that want to know about his powers, here it is right here. MODOK is a fictional character appearing in the American comic books published by Marvel. The first MODOK, George Tarleton, a former employee of Advanced Idea Mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. AIM, an arms dealer, organization specializing in futuristic weaponry who undergoes substantial mutagenic medical experimentation originally designed to increase his intelligence. While successful, the experiments resulted in him developing a freakishly overdeveloped head and a stunted body, causing the character's signature look and use of his hover chair for mobility. After the experiments, he kills his creators and takes control of AIM. Following Tarleton being split from MODOK, the new independent being dubs himself MODOK. Superior becoming the archimy of Gwen Pohl, IGN's list of top 100 comics book villains of all time, ranked MODOK number 100. So even in a comic book ranking, ladies and gentlemen, he's not all that special. He's the, he's the, he's the bottom, okay? He's the trash in the gutter. He's last. But having said that, MCU has done a good job with their villains and their characters, so I'm interested to see what happens. I ain't interested in MODOK that much, but maybe MCU will win me over. So please post me all your comments on how you feel about where they're going in the MCU with this movie. I am excited for this now. I wasn't at first, but I'm very excited. I was excited for Kane. Like I said, I really wasn't excited for Ant-Man, but now that I've seen this, I'm ready to go. Don't forget to like the video, comment and subscribe. Please be sure to download the podcast. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and also the TikTok. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.